When I first started looking into filming an ice fishing episode, one of my big, biggest concerns was gear and equipment. Because again, it's not something that we typically have here in Oregon and Washington. So I started doing some research online and for about a hundred bucks, you can get everything that you're gonna need for ice fishing. So it's totally different than say salmon and steelhead or especially bass fishing where you gotta buy thousands upon thousands of dollars of gear, all the boats, everything else. This is something that this time of year from January through even early March, you can come out after you get a nice cold snap and get out on the ice for fairly inexpensive. And it's a great family day too. The rods, this rod here costs eight bucks real cheap. Just take your basic trout reel that you already have at home somewhere. And if you don't, you can get a nice little trout reel for about 10, 20 bucks. For the line, you need a good strong line. This here is Maxima fluorocarbon, but fluorocarbon is a little bit expensive. So you can just go with the Maxima clear and that, oh, I'm gonna bite right now. And that Maxima clear will work pretty well. It's really nice and durable up against the ice because this ice is 10 inches deep. When we start catching these fish, and they start coming up through the ice, you gotta have really strong lines so it doesn't get cut off on the edges. And then from there, I have a little corky, and that corky is just to prevent from reeling up my swivel up into the first eyelet. And then just a real short section of line here, this is your leader line. This again is just Maxima Clear, this is five pound, but really it doesn't seem to matter all that much. You can run a little bit thicker stuff. The guys, what they're using over there, they're using the Yakima Bait Maxi Jigs, and they're using anywhere from an eighth ounce to a 32nd ounce. So anywhere in that size range, your small steelhead jigs to your smaller crappie style jigs will work. This one right here is a diamond jig from Fishfield that just came out. It's meant mainly for kokanee, but it works great for trout too, obviously. And I like bright colors, a lot of contrast, get their attention down there at depth. And in fact, I might even put on a glow on here in a little bit to really grab their attention. But this one here is just a half ounce, nice small little treble hook on it. It has that uh, Pro Cure ice scent on it, the trout, the trophy trout. And all we're doing is just dropping it all the way down to the bottom, letting it hit. There it is. Come up just a little bit. What I like to do is lift my rod up about as far as I want the jig off the bottom, reel down, and then just start working the jig itself. Now I've been watching those two guys and sometimes they're jigging it fast, sometimes they're jigging it slow. I like to start out with just a couple of fast jigs, create a lot of attention, a lot of movement, and then slow it down after that. 